Hello, this video is gonna be about McDonald's. Right now it's called Tasty and that's it. And this weird ass building was like the fanciest thing ever when I was in high school. My high school was, sometimes I would open uh, through here and go I would cut through this little park. And of course I couldn't afford McDonald's on the way to school, laughable. But after school, if we had money for like potato fries or nuggets, this was the coolest thing ever. So let's see what folks think uh, about McDonald's these days because it has changed. I'm pretty sure uh, they still serve like similar things, but we don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go in when it's open but right now. I'm gonna check out what's open in the express. Before that, maybe I'll bother some folks and maybe we'll, uh, we'll ask them uh, what they think. Uh, Hello. Okay. Hi. Sorry, sorry. Hi. Yeah. No Translated. Worries. Help. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah. What? Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So uh, these guys are local, and they they are agreed to answer a couple questions about McDonald's because I've been told it's no longer. But yeah, rebranding. So it's rebranded as pure, uh, Tasty, and that's it. And uh, is it still good? Good. It's. Is it the same? Same. Did somebody buy McDonald's or is it still American? What do you eat there? What do you like at McDonald's? What do you eat there, Kirill? Potatoes. Big Mac. Big Mac, okay. Milkshake. Milkshake. Milkshake, okay. Yeah, ice milkshakes, cream. ice cream. I heard that there are like macarons and cheesecakes yes, and desserts. Yes, yes. We don't have that in the U.S. We have like, it's very bad quality in the U.S. In the U.S., people that eat at McDonald's, it's very poor. Uh, it's very cheap. Nobody wants to go there. It's uh, no uh, macarons, no cheesecakes. It's very bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you decided what we eat at McDonald's all the time? Okay, here's the menu for just the 24-hour express that, of course, is not open because there is a technical break in here. And they say it's gonna be 10 minutes, but regardless, now I can study the menu and see what the hell to get. Oh, I was just gonna get, like, a coffee. So I guess, uh, maybe a latte? And it is just over a dollar. Um, there is black tea, there's Earl Grey, there's green tea, there's double espresso. Coffee with a forest nut. Oh shit. Desserts, cheesecakes, lemon tart, tiramisu. What the fuck? Macarons. Uh, ciabatta with tuna. Rosen with vanilla cream. I don't even know what half of this thing, those things are, but it's like. Now there's a fancy coffee, which is like ice frappe with strawberries. Uh, this is plant based, thank God. Syrups. There's bumble coffee, which is coffee with orange juice, which, if you haven't tried it, it's fresh squeezed orange juice. It has to be fresh squeezed and the full menu. And this is the, the Coke. The Coke rebranded as Dobre, which is kind, I guess. This is fun, but this is Sprite. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> try those ones. Not at 5 a.m. <laughs> we got a friend from Egypt because this thing finally opened, and I got a cappuccino. And a friend from Egypt is trying to get uh, something for breakfast without pork. So he can't read Russian, so he just wants beef. Interesting. But yeah, I didn't know I could get like the full menu. That's pretty cool. Ambulance. That's a lot of ambulance, man. And the coolest thing is, if they don't need to make sound, they don't fucking make sound and don't disturb anybody around. I have not seen a fire brigade or an ambulance without the sound in Russia. Also, we're gonna be jaywalking because there's no cars in. I decided to come by Mekadi another day when it's open, so I can actually experience how it is inside what the order process is like, and everything else. So it looks like you can just order on the screen or order online, save the card. Things look very similar.
Sadly, I don't think anything except for fries here is vegan, so I doubt I'll get anything. I'm not even sure fries are vegan because sometimes they add this uh, like bone broth uh, thingy to flavor them and I'm not gonna Google it, so I'm just gonna check out the options and the interior. Okay, let's see. You can get a strawberry cheesecake with rough coffee. I think rough is like basically a bunch of milk and sugar and a bunch of foam and maybe just a little bit of coffee. Burgers look the same. The combos look the same. For prices, you can divide everything by 100. Uh, I think one dollar is about 95 rubles, so it's about 100. So when I was a kid, things here were so expensive, nobody could afford them except for just the really, really fancy kids. Now, the prices didn't super go up compared to other places so McDonald's has become more affordable I just talked with a manager she says it's not the same product it's literally people working here the same companies delivering the food so when McDonald's got bought by somebody who was a Russian business owner they kept everything the same. Well, I will say this. They, there are less options for desserts. They don't have carrot cake anymore. They don't have lemon tart, I guess, right now. But they used to have, like, more macarons and, like, this This whole thing was, like, full of different desserts. So maybe I'm just here during the time of day um, panini. <laughs> maybe I'm here during the time of day that they just have less stuff. Oh, these, this is a Russian thing. It's aladim. It's, like, a really tiny little pancake. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like fist size. It's smaller than my fist. Oh, there we go. That's a lemon tart. That's great. And this is a um, cottage cheese pie. Oh, and here's a carrot cake. Okay, great. Well, yeah. And then you can get leaf tea, loose leaf tea. In what McDonald's in the US can you get loose leaf tea? I don't know. Here's your dessert station. So you can order dessert separately from ordering savory. There's like a separate line. Uh, I'm not sure why. And they still have little kids things. It's called Labyrinth. Don't know what it does. And like all the setup and the tables look the same. I don't know if I'm a fan of the renovation. I really liked when the the thing was more restaurant vibes. Now they added so much color, it looks cheaper. But it's still cool. Still cool. There's the upstairs, but I'm not gonna go there. And then you can have a kid's birthday party. You can reserve time for a clown that looks like Ronald McDonough. Hang out, they close out like this room, and you can hang out with your kids there. Let's check out the bathrooms, cause just, I'm curious. Okay, men's, women's. Clean and dark and fancy. Okay. Oh, and you can order delivery, which I think this dude is doing. Delivery number one, somebody's leaving with the delivery on a bike right there. So yeah, I presume I presume that McDonald's has remained uh, not like an upscale, but upper middle class type of food in my city at least. I'm not sure about Moscow, but I was 11 when this building got built, when McDonald's opened, and uh, uh, I did not have money to eat there in the regular, but my grandma sometimes would get me fries and a cone, an ice cream cone. Those were like the cheapest things there, and the smallest things also. As I grew up and collected some some change, I used to get a Big Tasty, which I don't even know if it's a thing in the US, but here it's kind of like a slightly bigger hamburger with a bigger patty and something like a Thousand Island dressing. But I think a Thousand Island in the US and Russia is different. It's kind of like mayo with spices, so it's like pink mayo. Maybe there's some tomato paste, I'm not sure, but not ketchup and mayonnaise, that's for sure. 
but it's like a sweeter, more smoky type of mayo. And uh, more, like bigger slice of a tomato than a hamburger. Oh yeah, there was tomato and lettuce. Hamburger did not have that, which is annoying. I like my veggies and I would get that and a Caesar salad. Oh man, Caesar salad McDonald's was the best Caesar salad in the city, y'all. Also, for those who have seen Queen's Gambit, this used to be and still remains a thing where here they play dominoes and like just in the basically in the in the middle of the city there are these little tables where somebody can come to play chess usually it's older gentlemen playing dominoes with each other or playing chess with each other and you can see them in the evening they'll be drinking beer and playing chess it's been a thing since the soviet it's still a thing i've always liked this part of town where you, you just find gatherings of older people all playing chess with each other. I think it's super cool. And I used to like to climb this monument. <laughs> oh, memories. Memories. <laughs>